Hello ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise. I'm Lamar Heyman. Welcome back to Shovel Knight. Time to find out who this is on the road. Whoa, that's mysterious. What magic is this? Power, honor, the traits of a respectable warrior. Sir, I don't believe we've met. We meet today on the field of battle. We have both defeated many knights and traveled far. Today, we fight. Stand aside, you and I have no reason to battle. Conflict is a reason unto itself, brave knight. Today, you will be tested. Are you ready? All right. So be careful of that, first of all, because he'll after he shocks from the sky, he'll shoot out some different attacks, and they're really quick. Usually I try to get as close as I can and stay above him when that happens. But he can also do that, so... Just keep an eye on things. And be careful. Uh, and be careful attacking him from the front. And if you... You can still hit him as I demonstrated. If you're... If you're to the angle... With the lightning. And whoa, he caught himself. Somehow, I don't think that was really as fair of a fight as we thought. Huh. I've been bested. But barely. You still need training to overcome what lies ahead. Farewell, Shovel Knight. Eh. Doesn't leave us a ton of money. But we bested him, whoever he was. So why don't we go and turn in... This music sheet and then use our money to buy some new armor. No armor we're gonna use, but still. Three music sheets. Wow, you found the schemer. Old Tinker takes his work seriously, so I wanted to keep things completely serious. All right, so we can just leave or we can take the catapult. The catapult sounds like more fun. Let's take the catapult. Catapult me! Flat. All right, and this is the shovel forge, and this is the armor smith. So final god, da -da! red shovel knight, conjurer's coat, purple shovel knight. And the Mail of Momentum. Black Shovel Knight. See, if I, I stopped holding it down, and he sort of keeps going. But you take less knockback from being hit by enemies. So let's go ahead and switch back to Dynamo Mail. And down we go. So... Today, we will be taking on the Stranded Ship, Lair of Polar Knight. Strike the Earth! Careful. Ice level. Ice physics. There must have an any platformer, I suppose. Oh, bombs! <laughs> there are also bombs. Be careful of bombs. These dogs are wild and feral. They just keep it uh, charging towards what they think might be food. So be careful, but it does make them predictable. And to be honest, while this is a very fun level and a pretty difficult one, to be honest, at times, it is not my favorite music. It definitely matches the feel of the level, but doesn't necessarily mean it's the best. See, the moles tend to respawn, that's why the, the dig pile was so much smaller. Be careful! We have Vikings! And if you notice, they don't take damage when you attack them from above. So you gotta attack them from the front. Unfortunately, I missed my opportunity to grab those just that money real fast. But I can get the goldfish. And let's see. I can still get at least one of them, so that's good. Oh, wait. 
I wonder if I use you. Nah. Can't get enough horizontal momentum. Now, away with you. I have secret treasure behind you to grab. Oopsies. I knew I couldn't make it back across if I tried, so I just ran towards the wall, and I remember in previous playthrough that that was safe. And a dig up. I was expecting a mole. Watch out for the, uh, for the snowflakes that guy drops behind his projectile. They will hurt you. That great. Platformers plus ice physics. Platforms with ice physics. What did I say? Platformers? Because I don't mind platformers with ice physics. I mind it when they're messed up and hard to determine. Oh, doke. So why don't we dust knuckle this up? And use the bomb to make our way over here. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> okay, this room pretty much scares anybody for the first time. But it teaches you the mechanic that if you touch those little bits of snow, they fall down on spikes and make the spikes safe. You can't shovel them, however. You have to touch them. They will always fall faster than you as well, so you have to trust them as well. Hit that and use that guy to hop up and you can get over here. This is actually... This room I almost always manage to die in. So why don't we make this a little bit easier with the flare rod. Alright. Then I think if we use this... Yep! You can get over safely by using that. Ooh, careful! There we go. See? Completely safe. Yeah, I left some treasure. I don't really care about it that much. That room I always managed to die in. That was the first time I managed to do it because I planned ahead this time. Alright. Charge up shot so you can take care of him. Yep. Careful with the snow. Air. Oops. I forgot something. There we go. Alright, so this is gonna teach you a new mechanic, and it's honestly a mechanic I hate. Every time you stand on that, it falls down. Every time you jump, it moves up. However, when you shovel it, the reason why this is a mechanic I hate it leaves a little rainbow trail that you can walk on. The reason why this is a mechanic I hate is because they use this in a very mean level later. That is one that I'm still not very good at. I'm hoping that in the LP I managed to get get through that level pretty easily. It's a very good chance I won't. Alright, so here you have to use its mechanic for getting higher to get up here first. Oopsies. There we go. Got rid of him. But you're gonna need it to move even further in the level. So what you do is you break these. Then you get on here, push it forward a bit, and ride it up. See? Not that hard. It'll get more difficult later, of course. See, so now you have to use this to fly your way across over here. Also, potent weapon. Kills a lot of enemies in one hit. Well, every enemy, I believe, in one hit. Ah oh, well, forget it. I was going to use that to kill this guy too, but that was too much effort. Alright, if you didn't know you could use your shovel while on a ladder yet, you should better learn now, otherwise that would be a very awkward jump. I didn't need to charge that. Here's where you want to be very, very careful of how you use your pogo jump. So as you can see, there's snow blocks all over under us. And also, you need to learn how to manipulate this guy's flight pattern. No! Oh, shoot! 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 You know what? I think I'm gonna just kill him so I can go fishing. There we go. Trouble! I got the i -Core Boldness. Become invincible for 10 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead... Oh, I used my health i -Core. Right. Hmm. I'll keep that on my bar just in case. In fact, I believe that becomes very useful 
in just a bit. As you can see, their pattern is to throw left and right hammers. They won't throw them directly beneath them. So if you're beneath one of these hammer throwers, you're safe. Let's go ahead and switch to the flare rod. Get rid of you. Hmm. I just realized we haven't gotten an item for this level yet, and I don't remember off the top of my head where it is. However, we're probably becoming close. Mm, yeah, there it is! Alright, so this one, like I said, you have to trust that the snow is going to be on the ground before you. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not going to believe what I just found in this chest. Want to see? The boar horn. Clear space around you with a powerful blow. A constant, co costly concophony. Eh, and then they demonstrate it by putting enemies all around you. But see, it's a very powerful AoE attack, but it costs 20 magic. Be careful how you use it. Oopsies. It pierces shields, though, so that's definitely a big benefit of it. Get rid of him. Out of my way. They like to make you... you to give you opportunities to use an item when you get it, your hands on it for the first time. And goldfish. Ah, just a split second too slow on that. Uh, let's see, flare. You could, of course, just ride this all the way up and use it as a weapon on them, which I believe I will do. And then write it down. You miss some of the treasure if you do that, unless you want to go back for it, of course. I do not feel like it. Be careful with your jumps here. Ooh. Cut that really close. All right. That's where I like to use the i because it's just a lot easier than the alternative. Down we go! That prepares you to pogo jump all the way down onto him. Get rid of you. Get rid of snow, and up we go. See? Very easy. As long as you know what you're doing. Oopsies. Darn it. Ah, that's much better. Apologies about the cut. Alright, so here we have a somewhat treacherous platforming section. The snow physics are actually really forgiving in this game, so keep that in mind. It's not like you're slip sliding everywhere. You only It's only that you're hard to move, which is actually exactly like the armor that I demonstrated. It's pretty much the exact same mechanic. I don't know if it doubles up if you have that armor and are on ice. That would be interesting if it did, but I wouldn't want to live every level with ice physics. I'll be perfectly honest. Okay. You can safely ignore the guy up there once you get past a certain point. However, that guy is the problem. That's why I'm going to manipulate him to allow me to get the treasure I want. Eh, but I'm not manipulating him very well, am I? No, I'm not. In fact, go away. I'll worry about the treasure some other time. Or not at all. Alright. Didn't mean to r jump on him as long as I did. It was costly. And get your health up there, because... Boss time. Hmm. So, my old friend, the day has finally come. This will be our final duel. Should we not lay down our shovels and part as equals? Hmm. The order has no equals. Surely you can recognize power. Join us. You've forgotten our oath. What happened to the proud warrior I knew? Hmm. No more words. 
The bitter cold will claim you. Polar Knight, definitely one of the most interesting bosses in the game, I feel. Be very careful. The more snow that gets thrown his way, the more he's going to use it to his advantage like that. If you're quick, you can hit it out of the air. Ah, darn it. But I'm doing terribly at that. If you can get multiple hits on him, do so. But be careful of that. When he jumps into the air, you have to make sure you move quickly. Also, at this point, you want to try and catch up to him as fast as you can, because the more time you give him to break the ground, the worse it's going to be for you. Until he does that, which covers most of the ground. You notice that he could block your aerial attacks. If he blocks enough of them, he counters and deals you damage. So make sure you only bounce off that shovel of his once or twice. But that, we have defeated. Polar Knight. The snow, snow Shovel is a very powerful weapon, but no match for our spade. And once again, Shovel Knight rests. He's going to need it, because the next uh, member of the Order of No Quarter is a humongous challenge. Which we will find out next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then.